Okay, <clears throat> let's have a look around this uh, rather lovely looking um, Land Rover Defender 110 County Station Wagon. It's a 1988 model on an E-plate. Um, spent the first uh, 11 years of its life, I think, in sunny climes. Um, wasn't registered in the UK. Possibly an ex-military um, ex one, uh, especially with a white bumper. Could have been an ex-fire uh, truck or something, I guess. Um, but it's absolutely superb. Um, been, has a, had a high quality repaint in the respray in the original red, um, which is almost completely blemish free. It's absolutely superb. Um, and underneath, it's as good as it is on top actually. It's, uh, it's chassis and everything are really, really nice on this one. It's got a, uh, a set of um, fairly aggressive looking um, tyres on it on eight spoke rims. We have got the uh, original um, narrow rims which can come with it if needs be. Uh, four of them certainly. Um, side steps on it, full county spec really. It's got side steps all round, it's got sunroof, alpine lights, tinted glass, it's a full 12 seater. Um, it's got the tow pack except for the adjustable bit that goes on it. So uh, we'll say no tow pack for the time being, but you'll just need the, uh, the adjustable ball thing. Uh, tailgate mounted spare wheel obviously, but that's about it. Very, very standard vehicle. Uh, and as I say, in looks absolutely first class. I can't really, going around it, there's nothing I can really criticise on it. It's um, mark on the bumper down there. There we are, there's a bit of a mark on the bumper. Um, it's obviously had a military bonnet fitted on it at some point, because it's got the, uh, um, the, the holes there for where the spare wheel mount goes, but the spare wheel's on the tailgate. Uh, looks gorgeous down, so there's a very, very, very slight dink just there in the near side front wing corner, very, very slightly. Paint unbroken. Looking down the sides, really straight. Um, scuttle corners, very good indeed. Uh, roof is fine. Near side door, spot on. Chip just there in the modesty cover. Yeah, found something. Um, inside here, the interior is pretty good. The only thing it lacks is a set of carpets. It's got the tunnel carpet, but um, it really could do to finish it off. Uh, could do with a new set of... Uh, Footwell carpets, if you're that way inclined. Headlining is very good. It looks like it's been replaced, actually, that headlining with a later type. Um, seats aren't too bad at all. The backrests are all good. Both seat bases, however, have got a couple of splits just in the uh, in the vinyl. Both front seat bases, that one there. I think the other one has as well a little bit. Um, it's obviously been wired for a stereo at some point. There's no radio in there at the moment. Uh, passenger door. Let's have a look at the door frames. Oh, that is fantastic, that door frame. I don't know if that's original, if it's been repaired, but it's really, really good. It's no, uh, no nasties on the bottom of the frame at all. Um, movement in the hinge, not really, no. Nope. That's all good. Spot on that one. Um, near side rear door, looks good from the outside. Good in the usual area down here. Again, whether it's been repaired or not, I'm not sure. I think it possibly has been down there, but that's really, really nice. Um, door bottom is first class as well. The only thing I can see, the, uh, the side frame under where the door closes is uh, somewhat rusty just under there, but that's about it. This is all good up here. In the back here it's all as it should be. Again, just really needs a set of carpets in it. Um, near side rear wing, first class. And looking underneath it, you may not be able to see too well with the video on there, but uh, it all looks rather good. The only thing I can criticise, the, the clamp for the, or the rear bracket for the exhaust is a bit uh, uh, a bit homemade, by the look of it. Um, carrying on round, cross member looks superb, looks lovely around the tailgate. No electrolytic reaction on this one at all. Don't know how long ago it was repainted. Um, just got to get some mud out of the back here, but that's about it. It's all nice in the back here. Um, tailgate frame has been repaired, I think, but very, very good for all that. Just a slight, slight hole in the that corner just there, but otherwise very good indeed. Looking down the offside, gorgeous down there as well. Nothing to uh, really complain about. Offside rear wing, spot on. Um, offside rear door looks great from the outside. Looks all good in there. Um, side frame is better on this side. Uh, and that's all good there. That's been repaired, that door frame. 
but all very good on the bottom there. Driver's door again, spot on from the outside. Inside of it, first class, whether it's been repaired or not, I'm not sure if it, if it has, it's been a very good job done on that one. Um, I think the passenger footwell has had some welding, but uh, very good. We'll just go back around and have a look at that again. Driver's footwell is the original one and is, is uh, untouched and pretty good for that. Um, scuttle corners up here, all spot on. Um, just go around and have a look at that footwell on the near side. Yeah, the footwell on this side has been, has been uh, repaired. But uh, to a pretty good standard by the look of it. Um, not much else I can say about it. It's just a really, really striking looking uh, Defender that would hold its own against one that was, you know, 10 or 12 years newer. Spot on. Anyway, my name's Simon. Uh, you can reach me uh, in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can uh, have it shipped anywhere you like in the world. Obviously it'll cost, certainly delivery within the UK and Europe is no problem at all either. That's about it. End.